Hey guys, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this kind of different video. It's kind of a routine, kind of a tutorial. It's sort of a mix between the two. It's my routine that I have every time I go out. This is what I do in the bath, in like, well, I'm not like showing you me in the bath. It's kind of like creepy. I'll just like show you the products that I use on my face, not like full skincare because when I'm going out, I'm kind of lazy. I'm not one of those people that's like, right, I'm gonna do a mask, I'm gonna do like two moisturizers, I'm gonna do like an oil, I'm gonna like exfoliate, I'm gonna do all this. I just kind of like, I do a body scrub, I moisturize my face, I exfoliate my face a little bit. I do like a kind of, you'll see, you will see. Just stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey guys, and welcome to voiceover Talia. How weird is this? You're just listening to my voice. But the first thing I'm just gonna do is just take my hair down and then basically put it back up for no apparent reason. Well, it's just to get it out of my face while I wash my hair because otherwise it's just really irritating. And then the first thing I'm doing is using the Ofra Soft Pearl Peel and it basically just gets rid of texture. Honestly, I don't know how it works. I think they put magic in it. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And you can use code TALIA30 to save 30%. You guys know my Ofra code because I always talk about it. Same with the next product, which is also from Ofra. It is the Ofra Kim Tai Collaboration Wonder Lush Moisturizer. Then I'm just creating some bubbles in my bath with what I think is a Lush Bubble Bar, but I'm not sure because I just found it. <laughs> then I'm using my favorite body scrub of all time. It is the Frank Body Coffee Scrub. It just makes you feel so like rejuvenated. I think it's because of the coffee in it. It just makes you feel like really awake. It's kind of weird. And look at what it does for my tan. Like look how patchy my tan originally was. It was so gross, it was time to come off. And then I just scrubbed it with the body scrub and patches were gone. Like look at how much smoother my arm is. And that's just at one, like one go. So good, so good. Look at the difference, it's insane. Then I'm just moving on to my face and I put my hair up again because apparently it really annoys me when I have hair on my face. Then I'm just priming and putting foundation on. I use the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and the Bobbi Brown Moisturizing Foundation. And then it turned me bright orange and I was like, whoops. So I put on some concealer that was a bit lighter. Didn't really do much, but it's from um, Urban Decay and it's the Naked Skin Concealer. That like you can see I'm still pretty orange, but it kind of matches my neck because my neck was still orange from the fake tan. So I was like, that's fine. And then I just set it with the Laura Mercier powder and contoured with the Filmstar Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I still love this contour. I kind of forgot about it for a while, but it's one of my all-time faves. And then bronzing with an Ofra bronzer and then an Ofra blush in a pink satin. Yep, just making my cheeks kind of look more like they're there. And then I didn't really like this. It didn't really do much, so I don't know. I wouldn't recommend. It's the Milani candlelight something. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it didn't really do anything. I'm then using the Dose of Colors Highlight in Gold is the New Black. And I just did my brows off camera because you guys know how much I suck at doing my brows on camera. But I used the Dip Brow from Anastasia. And then I'm using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm just making my eyes look a little bit more like brown and orange because apparently that's a thing people do when they go out. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that. That looks, that looks all right. And then deepening my outer corner to do something to my eye. I don't know what it does, but I think it makes it look bigger or something. I read it somewhere. <laughs> then I'm just highlighting my brow bone, putting a lid color on, and then popping those inner corners. Oh, and then making an ugly face to do the underneath of my eye. Spraying my face with some Urban Decay setting spray, and then putting some mascara on before the Flirt Lashes from Danny Beauty. And then I'm just putting on some lipstick from Anastasia. I think the shade is Milkshake, but I could be completely wrong. I'll put it in the description box. I feel like that's pretty much everything. You saw my makeup, you saw how I sort of prep my body and all of that jazz for a night out. I'd probably just whack on some jeans and a fancy top so I feel like I'm putting in effort. Really, I don't wear dresses and stuff like that, but if I do then then I do. Yes, that's that's it. That is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different for me to film like I don't really normally do like a voiceover and stuff, but um I guess it was kind of fun to do. If you did enjoy this video, then you can hit the subscribe button down. Oh, apparently it's up here. The subscribe button down below and become a member of this little family thing we have going on. It'd be great if you joined us. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter and head over to the little families we have on there as well. It's all just Tiling My Music spelt like it is on the screen. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>